Happy New Year's, everyone. We are now in 2021. Isn't that amazing? Yes, Happy New Year's. You know, you know, last night we were broadcasting and we didn't get the full broadcast for our New Year's Eve service. So we're going to rebroadcast that. But before we do, I just want to give you a word for 2021. You know, God's ready to do some new things. And this is what we need to do. We need to spend some time with the Lord to get a 2021 download. Let's make sure that we're not so busy that we're not stopping to say, God, what are you saying? What's the vision? I'll tell you why. Because God never does anything without first pro prophesying it or first declaring it. I'm going to read you a scripture in Isaiah 48, 3. You really want to look this up in NLT. And he said this, long ago, I told you what was going to happen. And this is what God always does before he does it. He declares it. Then suddenly I took action and all my predictions come true. Yes. Check this out. God is saying, I told you what I was going to do. And he didn't say, then you took action. You know what he says? Then I took action. God, this is what God does. He fulfills his vision through every single one of us. Our job is to hear what God is predicting or what he's prophesying, get the vision from God, say yes to it, and God will begin to work through us to fulfill it. It's just like Moses, when God told Moses, we're going to deliver the people. Obviously, Moses cannot part the Red Sea. Obviously, Moses can't do all those miracles, but God can do it. His prediction came through. The word prediction says means this. It means... To become, to declare in advance, to declare in advance, prophesy or foretell. Yeah, that's a dictionary definition. I just looked it up. And it says to prof, to declare in advance. God is ready to declare in advance. Now, if he's speaking and we're not listening, this is what's happening. The prophecy won't come to pass in our lives. So let's spend some time hearing from God. I want to share one more scripture in Isaiah 48. It says, you have heard, in Isaiah 48, 6 now, it says, you have heard my predictions and seen them fulfilled. He's saying, every single thing that I've said, I've declared, this is what you've seen right after it. It's been fulfilled. I've seen that over and over in my life, yes, yes. whether it comes to this church or where, you know, we, we, we just got a prediction or a prophecy from the Lord. Go start a church in San Bernardino. How? Don't worry about it. I'm going to do it through you. You just need to say yes. The scripture goes on to tell you this. Now I will tell you new things. New things. Secrets you have not heard. That, verse 7. They are brand new. Not things from the past. So you can't say we knew that all the time. This is where God's taken us to. He's taken us to territory that we have never, ever had experience with. What he's saying is, don't look at your past to determine whether you have enough experience, you're smart enough, or is my, does my past look good enough to qualify for what I'm ready to do? This is what God is saying. I'm doing something that you can't ever take any credit for. I'm taking action, and I'm just wanting you to hear my, my predictions, receive the prediction, and watch me do something Totally new. So this is what God is saying. Slow down. I'm ready to share some things, secret things, new things, predictions. My predictions always are fulfilled. I'm ready to do it through you. What's the new thing God's going to bring to this earth through you that has never been seen, has never been heard? Our ministry is going to a place that's net. We're not going to the past. The good old, back, I can't wait to, I wish we got the good old days back. We're not going to no good old days. We're going to better days than we've ever seen. You see, this is what God's saying. Don't look at the past. Look at the future. I'm giving you some predictions about the future. Write them down. Get ready for 2021. Yes. This Sunday, show up to church. Show up to the house of God. Let's get a word from God. We're going to start off this year with a 21-day fast. Lisa, what, what is God showing you? Well, the thing about a new thing is that it could be, it is unfamiliar, and it could be maybe a little intimidating, could be a little scary, and you may think, ah, oh, I don't know if I can do that. 
But guess what? God is saying in his word that he is going to do it, that he is going to do it through you. And what I want to say about that is doubt, you have to go. Fear, you have to go. All worry, dismay, the past, all those thoughts, you have to go. In order to step into a new thing, you're going to have to let go of all those old things. And I do want to give you a scripture, and it's in Psalm 68 and verse 1. And it says, rise up, O God, and scatter your enemies. Fear, doubt, I don't know if I can do it, insecurities. You got to go. Those are enemies to the vision that God has before you. Let God, let those who hate God run for their lives. So the enemy can't stand God and he can't stand you. But guess what? God is for you and he is he's making a way where it seems there's obstacles. There's things in the way. I can't do it. He's making a way for you, for us. Let God arise in your life. Let his enemies be scattered. Mm. Psalm 68, 1. I love that. You know, he said, stop focusing on the enemy. Yeah. Because God said, I got them covered. Come on. Suddenly, the Bible says, I took action. And what's happening to your enemies? Our enemies, hmm. they're scattering. Yes. They're running for their lives. Hmm. Who gets that? The people that are here from God, the people that are art from God, the people that are following God. 2021 is going to be that year. Yes. So this is what I want you to do. Spend some time getting some vision from God. Write it down because God's declaring some new things. He's given some predictions. His predictions always come true. Yes. They always are fulfilled. He's not a man that he should lie. If you're intimidated, don't be intimidated. God's got your back. He's taking action through you. He's going to confirm everything that he said through your life, yes. through your mouth, with signs and wonders following. COVID is not bigger than our God. Your past sins are bigger than our God. Your past mistakes are bigger than our God. Yes. It's going to have nothing to do with your past. And everyone's going to know that yes. must be God because I know their past. They weren't able to do that in the past. How are they able to do it now? And you're going to be able to say, I give all the honor and glory yes. to God. I got a word from God. I believe God's word. I wrote it down. I declared it. And suddenly, hmm. God took action. So tonight, I mean today, uh, we're going to show you a video of, of actually the, the production service. from the service last night. Yeah. Uh, not everybody got to be able to see the whole thing because we had some production issues in the back. But we're going to be able to look at it today. And you could look at it maybe two, three times this week. Where you're going to see what God has done in 2020. But that has nothing to do with what God's ready to do in 2021. God bless you. Happy New Happy Year. Year. Sunday, 9 and 11. Show up to the house of God. Get ready to take your next step in your own spiritual growth. We start over this Sunday, 9 and 11. Love you guys so Love much. You. Happy New Year again. Happy New Year.